Hey everybody, it's Thursday, it means it's time for your Thursday thought. Today will be a quick video, I just wanna recap some numbers. Uh, June's numbers just came out. Uh, I'm gonna be looking at the average price point um, of single family homes in Colorado Springs. So, for the first time ever, the average price point in Colorado Springs crossed the $500,000 mark. The average price point for a single family home in June was essentially $503,000. The really incredible part is that June of last year, <clears throat> it was $402,000. So we had a 25% increase in one year for the average selling, se uh, selling price of a single family home in the Pikes Peak region. So that's pr uh, pretty kind of a, a, crazy, a crazy number. Um, that we're up 2.7% for, from May. So in May, uh, the average selling price was 489,500. So we're up just 3%. If you, a home, if you bought a home three years ago, the, at the average price point, the average price point today uh, would be you know 3% higher than that. Well, 2.7% 2, 2 higher than that, which is pretty crazy. Now, obviously we we're comparing June of 2021 to May of 2021, and then June of 2021 versus June of 2020. Now, the really interesting thing is that when you go to the cumulative data, and you compare January through June 2020 through January through June of 2021, you still see a 22% increase. Um, in, in, uh, in the January through June of 2020, the average price point was $391,750, and the average sales price in the January through June 2021 was $477,500. So again, a 21.9% increase, um, even taking the, the complete first half of the year, averaging it out, and taking the first half of this year and averaging it out, which is obviously a lot more data, which gives a lot more strength to that number. It wasn't just one off month. We had a whole six months of average data that still yielded a 22% increase in average sales price. So again, kind of a historic moment for the Pikes Peak region that uh, the Pikes Peak MLS, that our average single family home would cross the $500,000 mark. I remember it happened in Denver a couple of years ago um, and and it's happened here as well. So um, obviously the numbers are the numbers, but what do they really mean to you? Um, I wish I had a crystal ball because people were asking me in the middle of last year when things were crazy, they were saying, hey, I'm gonna wait a year to buy because it's just so crazy right now. And obviously now they've missed out on 25% of appreciation. They didn't know, I don't hold it against them. I didn't know, I didn't, you know, no one has a crystal ball. But looking into the future, and I've shared this before on my videos, is our inventory is so low and the demand so high that I don't see us coming down anytime soon. Will we come down? Yes, of course. Um, when? I have no idea. How much? I have no idea. No one does. Um, and. I like to say that I don't see it changing anytime soon unless something happens. And the moratorium on evictions and foreclosures and a, a, a sharp increase of interest rates simultaneously could be that thing. And looking at the horizon, the, the real estate horizon nationally, that's kind of the, the things that are kind of the big question marks out there right now. Um, and then locally, anything could happen. A big company could come to the city, a big company could leave the city. Um, a, a military base could be could be closed down. I don't think any of things are likely to happen, but I'm just saying that as if something really major happened locally, then we could maybe see a change in this. But just given what I'm seeing in the natural, not knowing, not accounting for anything major changing or happening, I still say we have another year of growth. Um, you know, at least probably 18 or 24 months. So anyway, just wanted to share all that with you. Numbers are crazy, 25% year over year, 22% uh, first half of the year compared to the first half of the year, 2020 versus 2021. Um, and just want you guys to be informed. Thanks so much, hope you're well. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next week on next week's Thursday Thought. Ciao.